What is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous today. So we have a good video for you guys today, and I'm gonna tell you the top things that I like and hate about this new 2019 Ram 3500 Limited. Now this truck, you guys have to keep in mind when you're watching this video, this list was very, very, very hard to come up with things that I don't like about the truck. The things that I love about the truck, on the other hand, plenty of things. I mean, everything that you can think of, this truck just, it has it all. Like it has factory tonic covers, it's factory bed liners, hitches, deploying steps. It has factory cameras and sensors and this and that. I mean, it's got every option from the factory you can think of that you might need for a heavy duty truck. They have it and Ram offered it. And I just want to applaud Ram for that because they offer so many, like they literally set the standard for a heavy duty truck new off the lot. I even got off the phone with another uh, social media influencer and he was talking about the new 2019 or 2020 GMC Denali's and he's like, dude, I've already got one on the way, like it's sweet, but I am so disappointed in GMC's ability to offer certain things as a factory option. He's like, it just blows my mind that a $70,000 truck doesn't come with certain things. Like it, it's just crazy to me, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about this truck, things that I like, and a few of the things that I hate about it. Let's get into the video. Now, in terms of the things that I love about this truck, there are just way too many things to list, but I'm gonna go off of the top handful of things that really stood out to me in terms of making this truck more usable, more enjoyable, and just a more practical truck for the people that are doing, let's say they are using every feature on this truck, which they will come in handy. There are a lot of features on this truck that you might not think you need because you don't use your truck to its maximum potential. But if you are one of those guys, not saying I am, but if you are one of those guys that let's say live out of your truck and you work that thing day in and day out, this truck may just be what you're looking for depending on your application and they have literally nailed everything that you might and might not need and let's get into this list of the things that i like about the truck first the color match option for the bumpers front and rear i love the color match bumper option you can see that they actually did a really good job um, with the new bumper on this truck it actually looks really really good now of course i'm not necessarily a huge fan of all the plastic around the plastic around the plastic but i know why they did it it's for the sensors and stuff like that everybody has a preference just for me that thing's not i'm not a huge fan of but i do like the color match bumper the led headlights in this truck are incredible i mean the fourth gen that i had was a longhorn it was a pretty high spec out truck mm -hmm. but it did not have led headlights and this makes a world of difference driving at night um, these things just they really light up your world. I mean it is just crazy how much nicer these headlights really are compared to the previous generation of truck. The deploying running boards. I love the deploying running boards but we're going to get to some reasons why I don't like them so much in just a little bit here. Rear step for the bed. You guys will find out here what I'm talking about. There's a step right here. Now Chevy does this thing where they put steps in the bumper which is cool. Let's hear boots are dirty this that and the other whatever. I like my bumpers to not be full of mud and junk, but they have this little tab right here. You can just put your foot down on it. It's very simple. You just kick down and you got a step that hides up out of the way. And then you can step on it. I mean, you can, you can put three people up on that step. I mean, that step's not gonna go nowhere. It's an awesome, awesome step. I've actually used it a lot already, getting in and out of the bed of this truck to get gear from a hunting trip, get it out of the bed of the truck and get it out into the cabin. Um, and it's just a really, really useful thing, honestly, when you're getting in and out of the bed of the truck, especially on a dually, because, especially if you don't have stance, but because the dually, there's so much fender here, you can't just like hop on the tire and you know lean in it's actually really a pain in the butt 360 cameras on this thing some people might not think a 360 camera option is necessarily a necessity because you don't need to have it but on this truck once you have them you'd never want to go without them this truck i can park this truck inch for inch into the tightest smallest spots and this truck will be so nimble as to make it into all those spots not just because of cameras, but the sensors and letting you know where you can and cannot go. It's quite impressive, if I'm being honest, and it really is just amazing. I mean, these cameras, there's a camera under there, there's a camera under the A in the front of the truck. There's another camera under the mirror on that side, and then there's a camera in the bed by the cargo light. And then there's also a camera on the tailgate, and I'll show you that right now very well hidden all over the truck and it really just makes for an amazing um usable 
feature when you're trying to park this thing. I was trying to park it at Kroger the other day with my fiance, and I gotta tell you, those cameras make a world of difference. You can park this thing anywhere that it can technically fit inch for inch, and it will fit, and you will be able to park it with ease in this truck. I mean, it is just honestly, very, very impressive. Interior in this thing. I gotta be honest, guys. The interior in this truck is by far nicer than any other trim level truck. Not just in the Ram lineup, but by far better than any other interior options in heavy duty pickup trucks. Like I said, I talked to another social media influencer. A lot of you guys may know his channel. He was talking about, you know, the difference in the GM trucks and how he's disappointed and what they offer and the trim levels and the what you actually get for the money, like, and all that stuff. And it really does speak volumes when you see the interior that Ram offers in their trucks. And, like, they have that badge that says, the you know, the new standard of luxury and leather interior. I mean, this truck is just loaded out, super nice. And not just the leather and stuff, but the display the interior features the stuff that you can and can't get in this truck is just night and day from like gm especially but ford's coming close but not quite this truck still you don't know what ford's going to come out with next um you know what gm's coming out with next that's already been released but in terms of ford i don't know but this truck is definitely as of now as of now the nicest interior truck heavy duty truck you can buy on the market i mean it is just it is just ridiculous how nice this thing is. USB chargers for Apple, Android. You got a 115 volt outlet there. You got obviously your climate stuff back here for your AC and your heat. You got heated seats in the rear. Very nice, very nice. I mean, like I said, guys, it's just really, really hard to beat the interior and all of the options that this truck has. It's just really incredible and again, just a huge shout out to Ram for really making just one of the nicest, actually probably the nicest heavy duty truck that you can buy right now. I think they really listen to a lot of their consumers that buy these trucks new that actually work them. And uh, they really let them know some of the things that they would like to have. Cause like, you know, there's people out there that say, you'll never need a truck like this. It's way overkill, you'll never use it. But when you are, let's say, that rancher that hauls cattle every single day or you're hauling massive loads of hay or grain or, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with ideas. When you actually work these trucks, you realize how crucial and how nice it would be. I'm talking about big time farm operations. You realize just how usable a lot of these features are and how they could really just make your life a lot easier by having them. Like I said, there's going to be people that argue it, but I'm just saying, if you were in those shoes of those people, you'd realize just how many of these features that you are thankful that you have when it comes to the situation where you actually need them. This truck has Wi-Fi. It has a Wi-Fi hotspot built in. You can actually add that to your plan monthly paying on this truck and you can actually have Wi-Fi. Now, for a lot of people, that doesn't make any sense and when it comes to the topic of uh, ranchers and farmers and people that work these trucks, I don't know, maybe a lot of them, if they're out on the job site and they're giving people quotes or doing research and trying to crunch numbers or they need internet, that's a really great feature, but especially for me being the situation that I am being a vlogger, a YouTuber, a social media influencer, a Wi-Fi hotspot on a truck like this is actually really nice and more usable than you might think. Something else that I noticed was super cool and I don't know where the light was coming from still, but a turning signal LED bulb. I don't know where it's from, I don't know where it came from, but when you turn on your turning signal on this truck, there's some LED in here that like beams super bright directly at like a 45 degree angle out to the side of the truck 45 to a 90 somewhere in that range out to the side of the truck and you can actually see where you're about to turn before you can actually see where you're about to turn usually so like for the most part in my fourth gen or just any other vehicle in general when you turn on your turning signal you can't really see where you're about to turn in the dark but this thing lights it up like a stadium it's technology that's already been out but ram just put it into this truck and that's why i'm bringing it up it's a new thing for these trucks and you can actually see where you're about to turn in the dark before you actually make your turn. In terms of things that I actually love about this truck, there are so much more, but those are just the basic things that I noticed that stood out to me compared to the old trucks and the new ones and things that just really, to me, make this truck. Now, in terms of the things I dislike about the truck, this was a really, really tough list to come up with, but I was able to uh, manage a few things. And I think we got five things that I can definitely say stand out to me about the truck that kind of 
they're a little bit of a downside that it's not like a make or break or I would never recommend this truck because of these things but they are definitely just things that for me personally I don't prefer them but of course everybody has a preference when it comes to the grill and the hood you can see this now this is obviously it's plastic it's just plastic chrome but you can see this grill you can just kind of you can just kind of push it in it just kind of like taps up against the middle there in this spot and in this spot and then the hood too you can just push it and it just goes up and down you can actually hear it kind of creak a little bit on this side if I can do it get it to do it but you can see like the hood the entire hood kind of I'm not even pushing that hard I'm just kind of gently tapping it down and the whole hood just kind of pushes same here again I don't know why um, it's not a huge deal, but it is definitely just one of those things that just kind of bothers me a little bit. I don't know what you're doing with the front of your truck, but for the most part, in terms of how light the hood is or the grill, you're not doing anything with it. You're not working your grill or your hood, so it's really not that big of a deal. In terms of the chrome itself, I'm not a huge fan of the chrome on this truck. However, since it does have the chrome that it does, I'm going to go with a wheel and tire setup that's going to match the chrome and the way the truck is set up. But for me personally, now they do make a sport appearance package that is completely blacked out and that's one of those things that's kind of like this is something that I dislike about this particular truck but it's not necessarily a deal breaker because Ram does still offer this as an option at least in some of the other trim levels they make it an option that you can get but I don't really love all of the chrome on this limited it's got it all over the grill the bezel all the way around it's got the mirror caps the badging along the side here, the door handles, a little bit around the 3500 badge. Again, not a huge deal, not like a deal breaker, and they do still make an option where you can get everything blacked out. I don't know about on the Limited, but at least on some of the other trim level trucks. Just for me, I'm not a huge fan of all that chrome, but at least they do have the color matched bumpers front and rear to really kind of balance it out a little bit more. Now we're kind of doing this not in any particular order, but I'm going to get to the last thing that I dislike the most about it. That's going to be the final thing. Now, another thing that I'm not a huge fan of, the plastic all the way around the bottom of the truck. I don't know why. I've never seen this on any of the other trucks. Maybe it's a protective thing. They're trying to protect from black chips and stuff. But, I mean, there's just plastic all around the bottom of the truck, bottom of the bumper, which I think in terms of bumpers, that's kind of normal. But definitely all the way around the bottom of the truck just a lot of plastic just plastic 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 I don't know why not a huge fan of it but I can live with it plastics underneath the hood that's gonna be this is gonna be the next thing on my list of things that I'm not really a huge fan of and like I said guys this isn't necessarily a make or break type of deal because some of this stuff can be fixed you can take care of it yourself but let's get into the hood here I'll show you another thing that I don't like and that is how much plastic there is like when you first pop the hood, unless you're a taller guy, this is eye level for me. You can't even see your engine unless you look, get up on your tiptoes and reach. You can see your engine, but there's so much plastic. There's just plastic, 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 plastic everywhere. I mean, just plastic stuff. Clipped on plastic, more clipped on plastic. I mean, just everywhere. Like they put it all over the place. Now, is it a huge deal? No, but I don't really think it was necessary. Um, but you know, what do I know? Um, just for me personally, I just think there's just too much plastic going on. But then again, I don't, you know, design and build trucks. So maybe there's some kind of reason for it. But for me, I just don't see it. Last but not least, the number one pet peeve that I have with this truck is the running boards. And I'll show you exactly why. Now, ordinarily, when you get running boards that deploy on a truck, what are the first things you think of? You're like, great, I have running boards that hide. So they're not gonna be covered in mud and ice and water and snow all over the top of them in the winter when you're out mudding, you're off-roading, you're out you know, on the farm or whatever. You're, you have nice clean running boards, so at least when you open your door, you can step out, you get on a clean running board getting in and out of your truck. Not the case, which is kind of a concern of mine. Um, not necessarily for me because I can see my running boards and it's not a big deal. But for example, my grandfather, he's got fixed running boards on his truck and one of his biggest pet peeves is they're always dirty or in the winter they're coated with ice or snow and you know stuff like that so he has to go out and try to clean his running boards because sometimes he'll step out he won't even look and if his running boards are covered in ice or snow you can slip and fall it's just not a very safe thing now granted these are bigger running boards they are more sturdy and heavy duty but there's no protection back here 
to keep stuff from getting on your running boards. So every time you drive this truck, if you hit a mud puddle, water puddle, it snows, you're driving in slush and sleet and stuff like that. I haven't done it yet, but it will happen. It's the same thing will happen. Your running boards are just gonna get caked with mud right where A, the most used spot on the running board is going to be. Right through here where the driver is gonna step on it. And if you look back behind here, you can see if they would have just brought the fender liner down a little bit more, I'm talking like three more inches, it would have been down just far enough to protect that running board and not have that issue. Now, of course, this is not a standard option for every truck to have these running boards, but since it is on a limited and very common thing, it's kind of annoying. And you can see where these go up here, and I'll show you the problem. If you see the problem right here, I'll get down so you can see it a little bit better. This is where the liner stops right here, and all of this is open. And so when the mud flings up, it just gets caked all over your running boards. That being said, every single time you drive through a mud puddle, water, snow, whatever, you're getting that caked all over your running boards. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now do not forget, for those of you who don't know, we are running a giveaway. Yes, a truck giveaway. One of you guys are going to be winning a diesel truck for as little as $15. Go down into the description below and every $15 you spend on hats, hoodies, t-shirts, keychains, all different sorts of LNP gear gets you another entry to win a beautiful 2002 24 valve Cummins. It's a 55 block, not a 53 block, 140,000 miles, six speed manual, four wheel drive, leather heated interior, power windows, automatic windows on the driver's side. I mean, it is a loaded truck, Bradford built aluminum bed. It'll never rust on you, no rust on the truck. Beautiful, beautiful truck. If you guys have not done so yet, enter to win that thing. You're down to the last six days. Six days left to enter to win that truck and it is over and you no longer have a shot at it. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Enter while you can for as little as $15 you can get entered to win. And every $15 additional you spend gets you another entry. And you guys could be winning the keys to a beautiful dream truck. So thank you guys so much. Leave a fat thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Join the team. Join the family. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.